Guess what day it is? Today, we're integrating an NRIO 16 device. So, welcome. This is Scott with Cochrane Tech Services. Today, I'm using a Vicon branded version of Workplace. That's at Niagara Software at version 4.13. So, I've already got my station running. I've already got it commissioned. And this is how we end up adding an NRIO network and integrating an NRIO 16 device. Hang out at the end of this video. We're going to talk a little bit more about these devices and really how to make sure you're not going to put yourself in a pigeonhole when integrating with them. I'm going to double click my drivers, which is underneath my config space under my station. And the default view of my drivers is the drivers manager. If there's a new button, I like to use it. Scott likes buttons. I don't want to have to pull from the palette and fat finger or something if I can avoid it. When I click that new button, I can take this new dialog box that we get and scroll down to the NRIO network. It's a Niagara Remote Input Output Network. I'll click OK. I could change the name if I chose to. That name is pretty descriptive. It's good for me. So our NRIO network uses an RS-485 connection, and our JACE 8000 has two of those native. So I'm going to right click my NRIO network and view its AX property sheet and choose which one of those COM ports to use. By default, I'm using COM port number two. I'm going to change that to COM one. That's where I wired up our NRIO 16 device. Something's highlighted in red and I'll click save. Now what I can do is discover devices on that network. I'll double left click my NRIO network from my nav tree here on the left. And I can click my Discover button. <clears throat> when I click that Discover button, on the top half of my view pane up here, it will populate with whatever controllers are available on that network. Here's my NRIO 16 device. I'll double click it to add it to the database of my JACE. Pick that name, IO16, that's perfectly fine. And I'll click OK. If I expand that NRIO network in my nav tree, I see that device is here as well in my view pane here. If I expand it again in my nav tree, I see a points container. I could add points directly into this points container, right? Just double left click it, you'll get the points manager view. Out of better habit, I'm gonna make a new folder. That's a new points folder under that points container. And I'm gonna call this zone one. Now, why might I wanna do that is, what if my IO16 device had two different temperature sensors in two different zones, and maybe there were other points associated with those zones? I could organize them a little bit better in different points containers. So there's my zone one points container. I'll double click it again. And its default view is a points manager view. So here, according to my path bar, I'm looking in the zone one points container. And I can add these points into this points container. So let's say my zone temperature sensor was UI1. To add it, I would just double click UI1. I would name it something appropriate in this case, maybe zone temp. And it certainly is not a Boolean type of point. It's actually a numeric point, and specifically, it's a thermistor input for our IO16 device. So I want to pick my thermistor input, which should be that natural curve like typical thermistors are. Here's a thermistor type 3. And instead of using degrees Celsius, I'm going to hit my little chevrons, and I'm going to change my facets to degrees Fahrenheit. I'll click OK a couple of times here. And there's my zone temp point. I can repeat that process by double clicking other inputs to add to my zone one points folder, which belongs to that IO16. And congratulations, that's how we integrate an IO16 device to our NRIO network. Yeah. A couple other things to keep in mind. An IO16 is considered one device where an IO34 is actually considered two. And we can have up to 16 NRIO devices per JACE 8000. So what does that mean? That means we can have eight IO34 devices or 16 IO16s. Now, we can also mix and match here. Maybe we want four 34s, right? That would consume eight devices of our 16 available. There are all kinds of different configurations we can do here. I'm going to try to paste a link in the description of this video on where to get this particular guide. 
If you guys enjoyed this, drop a like and a follow. We appreciate you. Have a great day.